Hi guys, Whitney here with a quick review of Gecko's Silent Hill Robbie the Rabbit minifigures and stretcher accessory. So I've been looking forward to adding these guys to my Silent Hill collection for quite a while now. I immediately pre-ordered the entire set from Gecko Direct back in July last year when they were announced and was looking forward to reviewing them after the entire set released between December 2020 and February 2021. But due to the pandemic, the release was delayed and even now, many in the United States are still waiting for their Robbie shipments due to the current shipping restrictions from Japan. I only got my own because I offered to pay Gecko Extra to ship them via FedEx instead of waiting for Japan Post to resume shipping to the United States. Anyway, I have to say these little figures are worth the wait though. They are so dang cute. They stand about 3.7 inches tall and each color comes with their own unique weapon accessory. Though the pink Robbie has two, a steel pipe and a wooden plank. The white Robbie has an ax, the green has a circular saw, the purple has a rifle, the blue has a chainsaw, and finally the yellow Robbie has a maul. It's really cool to see Robbie in so many different colors. In Silent Hill 3, we mainly saw the pink version as a mascot slumped around the park, but within the Sweet Factory souvenir shop, we could see some color variations to the character, with both a yellow and green version for sale as plushies and hats. While the blue version can be seen on one of Heather's alternate costumes, and then later in videos by his creator, Usagi Tanaka. The white and purple variants are definitely new additions though. At $30 a piece, these guys are definitely more affordable than the larger scale statue versions Gecko released back in 2014, which ran about $130 a piece. These mini Robbies are made of ABS PVC and like their larger predecessors, were once again sculpted by headlong and flocked so they're a bit fluffy to the touch. I think the blood splatter on the mouth is a bit overdone and I kind of wish there was a bit more variety in the placement between the different color Robbies, but overall it's not too bad. I much prefer it over the sparser blood splatter that was mostly on the cheeks of the larger blue and pink statue releases. As for the packaging, I like how Gecko used the in-universe Sweet Factory souvenir shop theme box as if these guys were really sold within Lakeside Amusement Park in Silent Hill. It's the same box design that was used for the limited souvenir Robbie statue that was only available via mail order in Japan back in 2014. It's just on a smaller scale. The only difference I can see between the two is that the back shows a group of Robbies in an elevator instead of standing in a bathtub. The stretcher accessory was a nice touch to include for the set as well. It's based on one that appears in the Usagi video by Usagi Tanaka, included within the DVD, Lost Memories, The Art and Music of Silent Hill. It's clean on one side and dirty on the other, with indentations for you to place a Robbie on without fear of it sliding off. Since it is an accessory, it is a bit cheaper than the Robbie figure itself, and runs for about $18. And here's where I would say where you could get your own. Like I mentioned earlier, I got my set directly from Gecko's online shop, but they've been sold out for quite a while now. In fact, many third-party shops like Big Bad Toy Store are sold out of the full sets as well. I was able to track down one retailer, Man of Action Figures, located in Florida, that still has a full set available for pre-order but they are a bit more expensive, but it's way cheaper than the single Robbies and full sets that are currently being offered on eBay and Yahoo Japan auctions at the moment. I really hope Gecko will consider re-releasing these guys in the future. 